Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics, solving differential equations using the Laplace transform. Here is the procedure. Step one, take the Laplace transform of your differential equation, and that takes you from your regular space to Van Gogh space. Well, this is the Laplace transformed space, and here, if we start with a variable, say, t, and we have a function of t we're solving for, through our differential equation. By taking the Laplace transform, our equations melt, our differential equations melt into algebraic equations. So the perception in Van Gogh space is quite different. A differential equation over here in normal space looks or actually is an algebraic equation in Van Gogh space. We then solve the equation in Van Gogh space the Laplace transform space, that's step two, solve the algebraic equation in S space, and then find your porthole to come back home. How do we do that? Well, step three, use your Laplace transform table to come back home to the regular space and you have your answer. We're going to do this with a very familiar problem, the radioactive decay problem, and it's always good to master a new technique by solving a problem for which you already know the answer. And here you can set the uh, radioactive decay problem up a couple of ways. One way is to say that the differential uh, change here, or the infinitesimal change in the number of particles is proportional to the number of particles you have and an infinitesimal time differential you know, element here. And a minus sign is inserted so you take lambda to be positive and you have a decrease and your number of particles. As the radioactive decay goes on, then the number of radioactive decay particles left decreases. Another way to set it up is to say that the uh, rate of change here, the change in the number of particles you have left with respect to time, is proportional to the number of particles that you have at that given time. And the minus sign inserted because the change is negative as the particles decay. The total number of particles that are radioactive gets smaller and smaller. So you can work this problem out very easily using the regular techniques. You bring the n over here and you bring the dt over there. You'll have the natural log of n and you'll have a minus lambda t and when you exponentiate both sides you'll get n of t is equal to some constant initial value number of particles times e to the minus lambda t. But we're going to do that using the Laplace transforms. Well, step one take the Laplace transform of the differential equation. So I write the differential equation in this form with everything on one side and the Laplace transform of the derivative has to be done plus the, uh, the Laplace transform here of the second piece and the Laplace transform of zero. Well the Laplace transform of a derivative is s times the Laplace transform of the function minus the value of that original function at time t equals zero. So therefore we have s times capital F of s minus n of zero which is our function. Our function f is the n function and this is evaluated at time t equals zero. And then over here uh, because we have a linear operator in this Laplace transform we can move that lambda straight out and take the Laplace transform of the n function and get capital F of S. The Laplace transform of zero is zero. Step two, now we are in Van Gogh space. We're in the S space. We're in the transform space where you see the differential equation has melted away and we see an algebraic equation. We solve the algebra. Always prefer to solve an algebraic equation than a differential one. So here we uh, factor uh, out here we have uh, s and a lambda multiplying the f of s and then we bring the n over to the other side of the equation. We divide by s plus lambda and step three find the porthole use the Laplace transform table to get your solution. So we need the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus lambda. This is just a constant that comes right out. And we look at our table and we'll find this somewhere in our table. We'll find this thing where you have 1 over s minus a. And in the Laplace transform space, that nice little result corresponds to, in the regular space, 
to an exponential e to the at since our lambda here is equal to a negative a or you want to say here a is negative lambda so that would be over here a negative lambda and that would be our answer and voila that is the solution to the radioactive decay problem arrived at by the Laplace transform technique.